Hello, this is Andras Relvart, and I'm lucky enough to have a new pre-release version of the Kinect for Windows sensor, which is version 2. And I just wanted to share with you the amazing difference between the old sensor and the new sensor that you can see with the Kinect version 1 and the Kinect version 2. Now what you can see here is actually that I have both sensors hooked up to my computer right now and you can see some uh, the output of the sensors here. So on the right side you can see the old Kinect for Windows RGB output and on the left side you can see the new one and you can immediately see that the, the uh, field of view is different between the two. The new sensor has a much better field of view than what the old one had. The new sensor also has much better color reproduction and much better um, resolution. It's actually a full HD RGB camera. But uh, what always made the Kinect sensor special is the depth sensing. So let's switch over to that and see the difference here. And you can see that the difference is pretty dramatic. The new sensor, which now you can see on the right, and this is the version 1 sensor, uh, the new Kinect has a much sharper edges, it, it's much less fuzzy, and it actually seems to be much more precise. Now the, the range, the actual range of the new Kinect is, uh, starts maybe 5-10 centimeters beyond what the old Kinect is, but you can see the old Kinect is extremely fuzzy at this range as well, but at least it can see something. And here is where the new Kinect starts, but it can see further, which you can't see right now because of all the uh, curtains that I have in my room. I brought with me a uh, couple of uh, objects to show you. First of all, first of all here's, a, here's a phone, and the, what's special about this phone is that uh, it's reflective. So you can see the uh, these four little dots on my phone and the top dot is actually the old Kinect sensor's infrared emitter, and these three dots are for the new sensor. Uh, if I move my phone back, you can see that the two sensors don't disturb each other. That's how I can do this demo, because the, the top single dot can be only seen for the old sensor's output. You can't see it in here. Uh, and these three dots you can see here, but you, this, they are invisible on the other one. So this makes me able to do this little comparison. Actually, uh, it's very interesting this reflective surface shows up as a strange uh, shadow here if I reflect the infrared right back onto the sensor. Now as for the quality, here uh, it's my, with my microphone you can see that on the old Kinect sensor there's a lot of noise and it's pretty much indescribable, you can't really see what that is. But with the old one, even though it's uh, uh, in the range, in the invalid range, you can still see the microphone. If I um, show you this uh, little USB key, um, here again, you can see the difference between, uh, in the shadows. So the old Kinect sensor has a very distinct shadow to the right of the object. Uh, the new Kinect sensor has more like an outlined kind of shadow because uh, it works in a different way. I wanted to show you one more object, which is a transparent glass. And what's interesting about this is that on the old Kinect sensor really can't do anything with it. It's, it's just a just a full of a blob full of shadows. And the new Kinect sensor, it's also just a blob full of shadows, but what you can see is that if I pass my hand behind it, it can kind of see through the hand, through the glass and see the hand there. And the hand is distorted just like it is distorted in the RGB view because the glass behaves as if it was a lens. So I find that pretty interesting and amusing. So let me switch over to another set of programs and uh, show you the, set, the difference in sensitivity between the two sensors. So I launched these two programs and I'm going to switch on the near mode for the old Kinect sensor. And as you can see, um, this application 
is really about showing you the, the small differences between uh, distances, uh, unlike the previous one. So it just restarts the this little RGB, sorry, this little gray scale uh, at a certain intervals. Now, the first thing that I want you to look at is my face. You can see on the new Kinex sensor, there's actually much more detail to my face than on the old one, although both of them can pick up uh, big differences like my nose. The next thing I want to show you is um, this mouse. This is the mouse that I'm using. And on the, with the old sensor, uh, you can barely see that there's something in my hand, but you can't really see what it is. While with the, old with the new sensor, the Kinect version 2, it is pretty clear that this is a mouse. You can clearly see all my fingers around it. And if you look here, you can see the actual mouse wheel, which is only a couple of millimeters from the surface. So that's pretty cool, I think. And the last thing I want to show you is the uh, is my my clothes. You can see the wrinkles on my clothes are much different and much more pronounced with the new sensor. And if I show you my show you my arm. This cloth is probably one millimeter thick and you can still already see the difference between the colors, the grayness and the lightness um, between my arm and my uh, t-shirt. So that tells you that uh, the Kinect version 2 picks up this uh, depth difference, the difference between the Kinect sensor and my arm and the Kinect sensor and my, uh, and my shirt pretty well. So I think that's pretty amazing. This is just one millimeter of difference over here. So thank you for listening. And I think the new Kinect sensor is pretty exciting. I can't wait to see how it will work in practice.